Hi, beautiful. How you doing? So, ooh, oh, <gasps> it's me and it's you. And it's inverted hair color eh. today. Listen, we're doing inverted hair color. This trend went around for a while on Instagram. Then it went to YouTube. But it always had to do with makeup, okay? It was always inverted makeup. It was these looks and these looks. It was a lot. And I was like, wow, that's cool. I remember seeing a guy named Lithium Snow do it a long time ago who had, he has amazing hair. Hi, um, your hair is fabulous. And then Nikki Tutorials did it. So whoever started it, I think, I think it was one of them. And I thought it was so cool and so inventive and so creative. And then I'm like, no, I was never like, let's do it in hair. I never had that thought. Of all the thoughts that I have, doing inverted hair color was never one of them. I was like, how, do, how are you supposed to do that? I couldn't wrap my head around it. Like, I don't know what, where my creativity was really lacking at that point, apparently. Cause then, Miss Caitlin Ford uploads a video a few weeks ago doing inverted hair color. Where was I on that trend? Miss Caitlin Ford, if you don't know her, she is an amazing hairdresser on Instagram and she has her own YouTube channel. It'll be linked below, of course, but she is so awesome. Um, and she does some really creative, sickening colors. So Caitlin uploads the video, like I said, it's called Inverted Color Challenge. And she basically nominated me to do this challenge, right? What does really inverted colors mean? I get it, like if it's dark, it's then light when it's inverted. So we're gonna do that today. I'm gonna try and recreate the look that Caitlyn did on her wig, and I'm gonna do it on my wig today. <sighs> so good luck to me. I'm gonna give it a go and see what happens. Hopefully I nail it. Let's do it. Woo! <laughs> and bam, here she is. She is looking stunning. I pre-toned her with some purple shampoo and just cut a little bit of her length off real quick. She is prepped and she is totally ready for this color. Let's get mixing. Let's do the rainbow first. And voila, we are ready to get painting now. <laughs> this is a lot of color, okay. All right, so Caitlin took super diagonal sections and we're gonna get our base color down here our pattern actually and then we can just go ahead and follow it through oh no i, I <laughs> oh good luck to this wig honestly because i'm about to paint the roots black and uh, if you ever painted a lace front wig with black hair color well just don't because your lace is gonna end up black and it's not gonna look natural can't wait however i don't think we're going for a natural look today, but I could be wrong. I mean, I don't know. Maybe people's hair grows like this out of their scalp. And if you're one of those people, I want to be friends with you. Oh God, black color stresses me out, y'all. <laughs> well, one color down, 100,000 more layers to go. Let's do this. Two down, a billion more to go. <laughs> okay, uh, I need to do way more than that in the next layer. Well, it's definitely something. <laughs> Wish me luck. I have all these layers in here that are like getting in the way of my life. Wah, wah, I'm the hair color machine. You guys, I, <laughs> I've made very little progress since I last talked to you. <laughs> it's, been, it's been quite a time already and I do two sections. So, um, Miss Caitlin Ford, you got a lot of uh, patience, girl. I'll tell you that much. No, really, I do love color, but listen, when you're dealing with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colors at a time, mm, my brain starts to hurt. So basically what's going on here, <laughs> let me just show you what's, what's happening. So we got our sections, right? We got, we got it going on. I'm learning how to build my foundation right now and just making improvement. So basically when I pull the sections forward, right, we're doing diagonals and this is the front of her face up here. I mean, she doesn't really have a face, but like, that's okay. <laughs> we have these little baby hairs that keep just getting in my way. And I'm like, yo, get out. So I am using my trusty little hairspray over here. I'm also getting really not 
I'm really feeling a little loopy from these fumes in here. It's getting a little foggy. A lot of hairspray. So we are just hairspraying that down. That way, when I go ahead and paint this section, I start off with the black and I go ahead and do this moment right here, I'm not getting those baby hairs sticking up. Because what happens is it, it it's really hard to make vertical lines on hair because hair just moves all over the place and it gets in your way and then all of a sudden you know you have one color mixed into another color and it's super annoying. <laughs> I can tell you all about that because I just dealt with that a million times in a row. But the reason for that hairspray is to get all of those baby hairs laid down flat. That way you have a perfect flat board-like surface to then go and paint on and make your vertical lines. Make sure you're moving the hair back and forth uh, within your sections in order to cover every hair strand because what may happen is, you know, you may wash this all out and you have a ton of spotting and grossness going on because you just didn't move around the hair enough. You didn't penetrate each hair follicle, okay? And nobody likes to not be penetrated properly. I'm just saying. I can see a few hairs right here that aren't fully colored. We're gonna get that again. And we're gonna put plenty of color on there. We're gonna really waste the color. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, a little bit. And so that section has been fully colored. I wouldn't work from the side usually and paint on the front, but I would usually turn her like this and move and go down like this and it'd be much easier. But I, unfortunately, I can't do that because my job requires me to show you what I'm doing. And we're almost done. I've done quite a bit of this side and it's been about an hour and a half. So we're making some progress here. Let's just keep going, shall we? Boom, only took me an hour and a half to clean up and mix new colors, but we're here, ah! Okay, so here's the thing. I do really enjoy it. Like when I get in the zone and I'm chilling and I'm doing my thing, I like it, I like it a lot. But then again, I have you to entertain. So basically what I'm saying is you're ruining my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I love you. Okay, so where I'm at is I finished the other side, right? So I know that Caitlin actually rinsed everything out and blow dried it and took a picture of it. However, I didn't do that because I was thinking like, I wanna see like when, when the color's processing, like when it's the most vibrant, I want to take a picture of that color and then invert it on Photoshop. So this is what I got when I inverted the picture. Um, interesting colors, right? So I sat around mixing those exact colors for the last, you know, half hour. And so we have this kind of like pastel silver. It will be a lot lighter on the hair. We have this kind of like pastel green. And then we have this sort of like light yellow. Um, we have a magenta with a little bit of more purple mixed in. Just it's like a little bit on more on the purpley side. We have a royal blue, extremely blue blue. And then we have, you know, our beautiful turquoise to end with. Um, and then we go back to this color. Wish me luck. I mean, hopefully it looks inverted because that's what Photoshop told me. So I'm listening to Photoshop today. Okay, so I'm gonna start this section. Wish me luck. Hopefully my patients get me through it. It is 12.40 a.m. I have to be up at 8.30 tomorrow. Um, so I'm not gonna really sleep much tonight, but that's okay. <laughs> Who needs sleep, you know? I'm gonna come back in a little bit and tell you a really funny story about one of the first times I actually worked as a hairdresser in a salon in New York City. So stay tuned for that in a little bit. It's, it's pretty juicy. Well, actually it's just like appalling. You'll see. <laughs> Um, I hope this looks good when it's done. The only thing that make me go more insane right now than I already am is if it didn't come out good. So I wanted to tell a quick story just for any hairstylists out there, you know, who are just beginning in the industry. I'm gonna tell you a story about the first time I got on the floor, the first day that I was, you know, doing hair at a salon in New York City, like the most exciting moment of my life, right? So I went through all my training, was so excited about everything. And I, I, I'm a very confident hairdresser. Um, from the start because I grew up in a salon and I, and I had a lot of experience already. <laughs> so my first day on the floor, my teacher, who was like the master stylist there, was like, hey Brad, like I don't have enough time to finish styling my client's hair. Can you please like give her a blowout? And I'm like, you want me 
like literally not, my first day on the floor to do your master stylist blowout. I was like, sure. Like I was never the one to be like, no. Even if I was so scared, I was so scared, right? I didn't want to mess up. Like I wanted to just show her how it's done and kill it and just rock it. Like even though I was confident, I was still a bit nervous, obviously. So I, I did it and I knew about this woman, right? I knew that she was a bit, well, let's just say particular about her hair, right? I was warned about this, but since the stylist believed in me and I was like, you know what, if they believe in me that I can do this, I was like, yeah, I can do it, I can do it. So I'm there and I'm blow drying and this woman is going off on like telling me how to like do her blow dry and I'm like, okay, like, I hate when clients like tell you to blow dry like another stylist or like tell you how to color like another stylist or tell you how to do hair like another stylist that they used to go to. Girl, I'm not your other stylist. Unless you go to that stylist, you're gonna get a different kind of color or a different kind of cut or a different kind of blow dry. So I'm already like, like this woman, like she wants her girl, but she got me. So, oh well. So I bring her to the sink to um, rinse the color off her head that she had on. She looks back at me and she's like, please don't wash my hair, just condition it. And then I'm like, okay, yeah, no problem. Like people ask for that sometimes, like, yeah, of course, but I'm already nervous, right? So I am just doing my best. Just wanted to, you know, do good. So I am putting water on her head and then just out of habit, I happen to grab a freaking shampoo bottle. Out of habit, right? Cause like when you put something back in that chair, you're like, oh, I might as well just go and shampoo them. <laughs> no, this woman didn't want to be shampooed. And that is a fact because she realizes, you know, after I started scrubbing her head that I am shampooing her head. Um, <laughs> oops, you know what I mean? And in my head, I'm like, oh crap. Like, of course I just messed that up. So she looks back at me like, looks up in my eyes and she just stares at me. And I'm like, what? Like at this point, I didn't even know what had happened. She's staring at me and I'm like, hi. And she goes, are you, are you stupid? I'm telling you, I cannot make it up. She literally looked in my eyes and asked me if I was stupid because I was shampooing her hair when she had asked me not to. She goes, I literally just asked you to not shampoo my hair and you put shampoo on it. And I know, I know that's stupid. I realized that like, and that's why I, I felt a little bit bad about it. I was like, uh -huh. yep, yep, I did that. You're crazy, but you're right. Um, So I am there shampooing and I'm like, oh no, I literally, the first thing I started doing with this woman, I screw up. Oh, I was just so like, sad about it. So I don't say anything to her because I can't believe she just called me stupid, right? I, I was just like so mad about that. I think I didn't even care about the other thing. And I was like, uh, -uh this girl did not just come for me like this. Like, I don't even know her. And like, don't be entitled and rude. She had just gotten her hair colored and that's why she didn't want her hair shampooed. And I'm like, girl, it's literally not that big of a deal. So chill. I then, you know, finish the whole thing and I get her back in my chair, pretend like that whole thing never happened. I just keep a smile on. I pretended she didn't call me stupid. I blow out her hair and she ends up loving it. <laughs> but she actually ended up, you know, calling their stylist over that usually does her hair. And she's like, I'm so sorry. Like I lost my cool earlier with Brad and I called him stupid. And my boss was like, are you kidding me? Like you called him stupid? What, what's wrong with you? You can't just say that to people. And she like comes and apologizes to me and the whole thing is all better. But I was so devastated, you guys. Like I couldn't believe my first experience on the floor. I just got called stupid right away. It made me definitely scared of clients <laughs> for, for like, months after that. I was like, uh, like maybe, uh, I don't know. I sucked it up. I didn't make it known that I was scared, but girl, I was scared from that day forward. I was like, oh God, I don't want to deal with any, any more of these like New York City bratty type of people. If anybody ever calls you stupid, just don't reply to them. It worked for me. It'll work for you, I'm sure. And honestly, if you're a hairstylist, just know you're gonna screw up. You're gonna do stupid things. Just own up to it and move on, you know? That's my story of when I got called stupid for shampooing somebody's hair. Thank you, end scene. I'm gonna continue with this, probably talk to you in the middle and um, finish it up. Ha 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 ha!
Oh my god. I finished! <laughs> wow, I deserve an award for this one. We're done. Her entire head is just covered in color. It's looking inverted. I'm just gonna say it. It, that looks very inverted to me. I don't know about you, but that looks pretty dope. I'm 90% sure this is gonna come out amazing. I am preparing myself for the worst, but expecting the best. I think you're supposed to do it the opposite way. I don't know, but um, yeah, I think it looks cool. So let's let this sit for about 30 more minutes, rinse it off, and I'm gonna style it, and then we'll come back and talk about the results, and hopefully it's a good result. Hi, um, I have the wig on. Are you ready to see the final result of my inverted color experiment inspired by Caitlin Ford? All right, let me show you. Bitch, what? Tell me this isn't inverted. Tell me it's not inverted. Tell me that's not, this isn't inverted. Like, just tell me because I am like, Sorry, I'm just kind of like feeling myself all of a sudden. Oh, hello. Sorry, I can't come to the phone right now. I'm too inverted. Oh, what do you need? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't help you with that. I'm super inverted right now, so. I mean, listen, it's not perfect. I have definitely never in my life done anything like this, so I am quite happy with it. I think it looks pretty sickening. Can't really pull it off that well, but at least I feel like it looks super inverted on this side, and, and that was, you know, the challenge here, was to do basically the complete opposite, or whatever inverted means, because I'm trying to figure out what what inverted means and I feel like it's not the opposite it's like inverted you know I'm so happy with it though I feel like I kind of killed this challenge to be honest with you I did it a little bit different than Caitlyn did it you guys saw that I you know inverted the color on Photoshop while it was still processing and I do feel like I got a bit more of like a vibrant um, version of an inverted color on this side which I actually really like so I think it's really dope. I'm so happy that it worked out because in the middle of this whole thing, I was like, if this doesn't work out and I just spent, you know, six hours doing it, I'm gonna be like slightly upset if I have to trash this video. And you know, it was a cool experiment and it taught me a lot about doing horizontal color. I don't do a lot of horizontal color. So I really, really had, you know, a lot of time to teach myself some different techniques during this process and, and experiment more with color, you know? Cause not a lot of people come to the salon asking for this and this, okay? I love that it's outlined like in black here and like the rainbows in the middle. I think that's such a cool touch that Caitlyn, you know, inspired me to do. If you guys would like to see Caitlyn's original video about this look, it is linked down below. She does an amazing job. You can see her kind of take on the same thing I did. Well, I took the I took the take from her, but she did the original one. You can see how she did it. And you can also subscribe to her on her channel. It is linked below also. Ah! I'm cool, I'm obsessed, um, hello. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day and just be like, hello, I'm sorry. Like I can't make it to the meeting. Like I'm literally so inverted right now. People are like, what's inverted? And I'm like, literally don't worry about it. Oh, also I styled the wig, of course, with my moisture cream, electric rain. Guys, if you want a perfect blowout, I mean perfect, shiny, soft, healthy hair without it getting weighed down, please just trust me. I know they're my own products. I literally like, could not back my own hair care line anymore. Like I'm so proud of what I've made. And if you guys are interested in, you know, having an amazing, <laughs> perfect blowout or just, you know, having extra moisture in your hair and having it feel so damn soft, pick up Electric Rain. You can always return it if you're not satisfied, but it is an amazing product and I know you won't want to return it. And I also prepped with Glitterati in order to make sure these waves will hold all day, all night and throughout, you know, the next <laughs> couple months before I wash this wig again. And you you can find those Xmondo products on our website, xmondohair.com. It is linked below for you. Also, make sure you follow Xmondo Hair on Instagram. We will be releasing a lot of new products in the coming year, like a lot. So uh, it's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be an Xmondo takeover this year. Oh, I'm so excited. And make sure you follow me, of course, at BradmondoMYC on Instagram and Twitter. That is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. It's been a journey today. <laughs> Don't forget to live your extra life. I mean, I'm definitely living my extra life, so you should too. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>